I'm sitting down having my morning cup of coffee and all of a sudden I see a mouse dart across my kitchen floor. Freaking out, this is not a drill. Thankfully, I have Raymond Vanderloo from Point Pest Control to give us the lowdown on how to get out these creepy crawlers completely out of our house. And has this been a specific problem in Spokane this year compared to any other year? Yeah, you know what? Usually this time of the year we see some rodent pressure. This year it seems to be like there's quite a bit more. And there are a variety of traps from glue boards to traditional snap traps. Some prove to be easier than others. So what I typically will bait with is a little tiny bit of peanut butter. And all you do is take a little bit of peanut butter and just enough to attract them, okay. but not enough to, to feed them. What about if I have a pet or kids that I'm worried about that can get their hands stuck in a trap like this? You want to put these in places that are going to be inaccessible to kids or pets. You could set these traps in maybe like a shoebox, cut a little hole in a shoebox and set oh. the traps in the shoebox. Okay. That kind of plays to the rodent's instinct to want to be covered while they're feeding and it's not attractive to kids or pets. Make sure that if you have a hole cut bigger than the pipe that's mm -hmm. going through that, that that is closed up. And he found one in my house. He used copper to seal it up because mice can't chew through it. It's tight enough that mice aren't gonna have to, not gonna pop out of that later. I thought they couldn't get upstairs, but it turns out mice are very athletic. They can jump pretty high compared to their body size. Um, they're great climbers, so they can climb brick, they can climb um, siding. We headed outside to check, and sure enough, we found something. Yeah. See, I see a little hole right there. Exactly. Is that? Exactly. This could potentially be <gasps> a rodent burrow down in here. Ooh! So this is a great application of the steel wool because if a mouse got in here, uh -huh. it's underneath that window sill plate, and then it could get down in the basement. It's not only important to set traps inside your house, but also around the perimeter. And then when you have this bait station in here, if a mouse is coming along the wall, it'd go right in the hole and feed on the bait on the inside. Just, it was a great year for rodents generally. We had a long, hot summer. Um, and I think because of that, it, it kind of extended that breeding season. Tina Marie McNiggle, Crump 2 News.